We've got a neat show today. Lauren Passarelli is a professor of guitar at Berklee College of Music. Yes, isn't and this exciting? Uh, <laughs> she does her own, <laughs> her own intro. Yeah. Pretty good, huh? I think so. So we've got a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. Pretty well-rounded in terms of music in the world. And yes. She's oh. the most patient Italian I've ever met in my life. <laughs> she's, she's calm. Yeah, she is. Has she seen your uh, dog, Penny? No, she hasn't, but she's a dog lover. <laughs> I have two dachshunds. You do? Yeah, I should have brought them. They're very, they're very photogenic. Really? I haven't they're seen photogenic. They're all over YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, they do tricks. They're fun. Like what kind of tricks? Uh, up and around. Really? They close the door. They give you five. They well, put speak. the guitar well, Let's go get those. <laughs> let's bring the dogs in. They're more fun, yeah. Hey, that's neat. So, um, I've never met a Beatle mayor before. It's pretty, no? It's pretty cool. Well, isn't everybody a Beatles fan? No. Even young kids think no. that the Beatles are a new band. I know. They're not, though. He doesn't think so. The he thinks so. <laughs> he thinks you just came out. <laughs> hey, there's this new song, I Love You, Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, we've, uh, so is uh, the, the Beatles really sort of your favorite? I mean, is that oh, what you yeah, love to yeah. play? Yeah, that's, that's the whole inspiration to be a musician came from them. Because you heard it when you were young? They were on sisters. Ed Sullivan, I was four, you know. Really? Yeah, so I had had plastic guitars every Christmas and then started getting real ones and started taking you, lessons at nine and just loved all that. And you just kept playing. I've had a couple of friends, it's it. just like day in day out it's yeah it's uh nine days a week it's it's uh <laughs> it's the it's best Beatles and yeah. never ending well it's so much pleasure and so much joy and so much creativity and freedom in it you know in their music anyway they were just having fun and i just thought it was a really fun time i was really happy to be on the planet when all four of them were here yeah. you know because it was just magical uh -oh. do you play as well no 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 <laughs> No. What did you like about the Beatles? Everything. Yeah, just Everything. you know, the whole time. Yeah. It's just yeah, the, the fact that they had a little, you know, amplifier like you. <laughs> there was no nobody mixing any of that right. music or anything. You know, Trying just to play Shea Stadium, yeah. To make you happy, right? Yeah. All of that. Now, are you one of those people that you're so into the Beatles that every th every conversation can almost lead into the Beatles? Oh, sure. Every conversation can be a song too. You right. know, just. It's like the Wizard of Oz. It's a, the, <laughs> it's a lot. A, tr a lot of it, it sort of is. Uh, a direct connection be uh, around life. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of connections between. And there's so much in the culture already, you know, so there's lots of Beatle references. Right. You know. so, what was your favorite Ringo song? Because um, you went out and did a few good songs. Solo? Yeah. Oh, I liked Photograph mm -hmm. and It Don't Come Easy. Yeah, It Don't Come Easy. Yeah. Can you play that? It Don't, yeah. it don't Come I was about to do the Hello, Goodbye, Hello, yeah. Goodbye. That's a good one. Hello, Goodbye. Because they're not on the phone, you know. Hello, goodbye. Get Hello, it. goodbye. Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing with the Beatles and guitar. You're influenced by three different guitarists in the band. Because mm. John and Paul played lead guitar as well as George. And uh, there's so many fun things, so many tunes. You could almost learn everything there is to know about guitar just by playing Beatles music. Because right. they were so fascinated with chords and harmony their whole background was the standards and all those great songs the hoagie carmichael songs right, right. as they used wow. to say you know mm -hmm. and so they weren't afraid of chords they didn't just use triads they didn't just use these right. power chord things they had uh, you know really nice voicings and uh minor seven flat fives you know they used major sevens they used sus fours they used nine chords and minor nines and all these beautiful harmony things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they just knew so much sort of instinctually because right. of the sound and the emotional connection to picking notes and picking chords. And their melodies were just outstanding. There's no, no better melodies anywhere. Call, welcome to the show. Hey, uh, I listened a few minutes ago before you put Professor Pastorelli on. Yes. And my question was, you have a beautiful, talented young lady on the show there. Right. And some guy called him wanting to know about the weather. I just couldn't understand that. <laughs> oh, he was just talking about the weather, that's all. He didn't know. He calls he usually calls at the beginning before he even knows who the guest is. That way he doesn't interrupt the, you know, later on. Yeah, let her play something. She's great. Where did where what town does she live in? I live in Little Rock, Arkansas. You do? Yeah. Hey, is this Ben? Yeah. Hey. This is Joe Zippy. 
Oh, Giuseppe. Is that a relative? Yeah. No. <laughs> this is Giuseppe from know, Arkansas. Yeah? He's, he, he's a friend of mine online. I haven't met him is, yet. Have you ever been to Lemons, the Massachusetts? I couldn't understand you, sir. I said, have you ever been to Lemonster, Massachusetts? <laughs> I've been to Massachusetts, but not there. Okay. Not there. What were you doing here? Sir? What, what were you doing here? Were you visiting or a business? I was driving through uh, back when I was younger in the yeah. service. <laughs> oh, see? There you go. All right. So how are you here? How are you listening to us right now? I'm on the internet. Oh, you can. Yeah. So people can hear this live, Carl? Yes. Yeah. Well, run outside and call your relatives and neighbors and tell them. You know what Lemonster is famous for? <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. I'm doing a bad connection. I can't really hear what you're saying that much. I said, do you know what Lemonster is famous for? I don't. You can't hear us. Johnny Appleseed, oh, Robert Cormier. Yes, yes, that Robert is. Salvatore. Yeah. Susan yeah. Cashman, Bob Cashman, <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> He's happy. Kenny, the Kenny. Beatle Mayor, Beatle Dean. The Beatle Dean. <laughs> That's right, Beatle Dean. Beatle All right, That's hang right. on. Beatle You're going to stay on or you want to hang up and listen? She's the utmost authority on the Beatles. All right. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. All right. Thanks for calling, All Giuseppe. Right. Let's hear a Beatles song. What a sweet guy. I should guy. do the hype, you know, the build up. Yeah, I know. I'll play one that he likes. This is for you, Giuseppe. Thanks for calling in. <laughs> Ready? I think you'll recognize it. Here comes the sun. Do you want just a bit of it? That's good. I, I like think that's that one of my thing. favorite sure Beatles songs. I, I like that. that. So is that your favorite song? Oh, one of them. You know, I just found out a statistic that the top three downloadable iTunes Beatle tunes, the top ones, were all George tunes. Here Comes the Sun, While My Guitar Gently Weeps, and Something. So very often when people want to go out and hear the Beatles, those are the songs they want to hear. Very important tunes, you see. So you play based on what you feel like, right? I mean, what, what, what comes to your mind or how, what, what mood you're in, right? Just now? No. Yeah. Just, well, I figured I'd play some of the ones that uh, I play well. <laughs> that was really good, yeah. But it's a great tune. And uh, what about the early ones that, that uh, yeah, well, play something that maybe that Ed's, you watched when you were a little kid, four years old, on oh, Ed Sullivan? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so much fun to hear riffs, you know, and hear the guitar in action with things like a... The sort of... Right. Almost like a rockabilly. Yeah. You know, just so exciting with it, so fast and all the... Well, she was just 17. And you know... And you know but because it was a guitar thing, it like influenced me to write my own riffs. So I have songs that go like. A song called Your Own Dance, and another one that isn't even released yet with a fun riff, sort of like the. Just fun, fun yeah, yeah. things to play, you know? And uh, how about like uh, I want to hold your hand and those kinds of songs? Yeah, those were great. Did you like them? I mean, I did you get those. excited when the when the did you sit by the radio and listen and listen for hours oh, until yeah, the song yeah. came Every on? Every record and you'd wear out the record. <coughs> right. And beg for a new one and in fact there were tunes like even especially from the film you know like this is an interesting guitar for this kind of a if you were going to do like a Beatles show or something because it imitates like 28 different guitars wow. you know so it's got a 12 string in it. You could do the. 
yeah. for the big... Like an Eleanor Rigby kind of thing. Yeah. Well, more like a Hard Day's Night thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You know, and uh, there's so many different things. Like, it's a Line 6 Variax guitar, and it's got Rickenbackers in it, and Telecasters, and Stratocasters, and Acoustics. That's what I was doing. Here Comes the Sun, and all these fun things. Gretches. I like it. Ah, it's fun. a Hard Day's Night. How about that? Yeah, that was a good one. That was the end of it there with the 12 string, right? right. You might want to hear a little piece of uh, uh, that triplet thing. When we were talking about John playing really cool guitar parts, you know, the thing about them was that they learned how to stay out of each other's way with two guitar players in the band. So here's John just naturally able to play these triplets in All My Lovin'. It's so mixed back in the tune that you almost don't even know it's right, there. Right. But then when the bass line comes in with doom, 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 yeah. doom, doom, and all those walking things and the nice vocal on the top of the close your eyes and I'll kiss you tomorrow I'll miss you. It's a really fun but difficult thing to play. Right. And then it switches to like the Gretsch thing and George would come in with a big rockabilly solo with the loved uh, Chet Atkins and all those really good musicians. They all had different interests. Yeah. Yeah, he, had, he had the real weird voice, you know, Joel sort of talked with that sort of, you know, swallowing his tongue just a bit and talking out of the side of his mouth, right. like, you know, and it was sort of just this, if you want to talk like George, it's very, uh, you never know how much I really love you, you know, that sort of sound. And if you heard that in the three-part harmony, that distinctive tone was right. George. Right. You never know how much I really it's really kind of listen. Funny. Listen. Do you want to know a secret? All that sort of sound, you know, it's a joke. Go. My favorite Ringo song is I'd like to be. Oh, there you go. Under the sea in a rock with his garden in the shade. It's so nice and warm. He's going to sing the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping on the right key right here. I'd like to be. <laughs> JT. He's so cool. And he looks pretty sporty. See? Yeah. Huh, JT? There you go. It's uh, Lauren Passarelli. <laughs> All right, Dean. Bye bye. Now, one of the things that always excited me is. Da -na -na, da -na -na. As soon as I heard that, always got. Yeah. yeah, you know, the, can you do that one? Like the, yeah, you like oh, that little, say, you like that, that little, something. you like that riff. No, 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 no. As soon as I heard that, as soon as those notes came on, that was it, man. I was sort of cranked it up. There you go. Yeah. There you go. See? Oh, yeah. But their, their music got real diverse, though, because at first it was yeah, all kind yeah. of, you know, people jumping around, doing backflips up the stage, screaming, <laughs> yelling, passing out, and everything else in between. And then they then they got real diverse, and there was real deep meaning to a lot of the songs. Uh, yeah. They did everything, and they didn't ever want to repeat themselves, you know. Right. Even even snare sounds, they would say, Ringo, you use that sound on the last record, try something else, you know. And so they, they really, think about it, they were the four people that got together yeah. that were really the right mix. Nobody sort of planned it, there were just four people that wanted to play, yeah. and they were the, really the right personalities, the right mix, and really different in their own love of, of yeah. different music. And always wanting to grow and to change and to get better and to improve. They were always just curious, so they were trying to uh, s just satisfy their own curiosity, right. which led to so much creative ideas. And then the group around them, the, all the people who helped, the engineers, the producers, all the people that were so-called the fifth Beatles, you know, they learned so much from everybody. And they passed that on. I mean, for me, it's like the Beatles taught me how to write melodies, how to pick chords that moved me and tickled me, how to write songs, how to sing, how to play, how to be inspired by other instruments, just because of the sounds they used, even. The saddest song that the Beatles ever wrote? Mm. Is that one that jumps out at you, or the one that sort of you think of as sad? Maybe maybe they didn't purposely write a sad song, but... 
Uh, I don't know. I guess everybody has a few. Uh, the long and winding road so it seems to get the to me. The long yeah. and winding road. Too sad. Dun, dun. Dun. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But so many. Well, because depending upon when the songs came out, they were happening around different things that were going on in people's lives that you remember. Right. You know, so. Because a lot of their music did, were, were, a lot of the music they wrote was really about situations that they were in. Yeah, and, and vague enough in the lyrics that it meant something to everybody. Everybody. Because yeah. everybody was in that situation at some point, <laughs> right? Love or whatever it might sure. be, or a sad situation. Everybody had been in one of those. Yeah. So what is your favorite Beatles song? Ah, uh, well, I love... If you had to pick one. I never had just one, yeah. I guess it's a hard question for me. I can't really pick one favorite album either. So if they walked up and said, okay, we're going to give you a million dollars, but we need to know, you can <laughs> yeah, only you play know. one song. I'd probably play what you heard, Here Comes the Sun, or something, or something like that. Yeah. But there's so many. There's Ticket to Ride. You know, I'm not going to start listening to all the Beatles songs. But no, but that's a, so many a, another yeah. change in there. Yeah, because there's so many different sounds. Like, again, that's part of like the 12-string thing with the... you got to get it on model. It's just so many fun things to play with their tunes. You know, all the little fills and all the little riffs. Right, that was just, good. Yeah, just yeah, fun yeah. little and and people play things kind of in funny ways. Like you'd think. Uh, Paperback. That's how I feel fine. And a lot of people play it just as a riff. But if they watch any of the old films, John was playing it as chords. So if I could give two Beatle tips to play songs correctly, it would be play this as chords. You like finger the whole right, chord. Right. So you can get some of the strumming in between. And if you noticed, even with Here Comes the Sun, when it was in the other key there in uh, seventh fret, it's you strum those riffs too. It's not just. single notes he right. was like my jam play students like that <laughs> yeah and and the thing is if you've grown up with the beatles mm -hmm. Almost every one of them, the first few notes, you know the song. Oh, absolutely. It's amazing. And you can't really take any one part out of those songs right. if you want it to sound like the Beatles. And I was in a Beatles touring tribute band for 12 years. I got to be George Harrison for a long time in the New England area. Oh. So couldn't even pump gas in New Hampshire. People come and say, it's George. It's George. It's George. Did you make any money doing that? I did. Did you really? And it's nice to make some Jeez. money back because the yeah. bills have cost me a lot Well, that's what I'm saying. Because I want to have They're everything that they But to play and you know? get paid and make money is <laughs> yeah. not a bad Be thing. Be George, you know, it's not bad. So who are your students now? Are they... Uh, well, I have students all over the world, like the great friend there, Giuseppe, who called Giuseppe. in. Giuseppe. I hope he's listening. Giuseppe. He was. He's the one that called in. He was in Arkansas. But I have students in Turkey. I have students in Australia. The internet just lets all these fun things happen, you know. So they can watch you... Um... Do, do different lessons. And Well, there's this cool place called uh, jamplay.com. And if you went to that website and typed in 55DB3375AA, you could have a whole free week of guitar lessons. Really? 24 hours a day from over 40 different teachers, including me. So do you watch, I mean, do you watch, do you, is there anybody that you sort of envy that you watch and you learn from as well? I probably could, but I haven't spent enough time right, right, on you haven't had time. I'm on live every Thursday, two nights, uh, well, from t tonight I'm on, on again, 10 to 12 and I do live web chats. So if anybody has any questions, they call in and ask specific guitar questions. I'll oh, wow. Answer. Well, that's amazing, huh? Yeah. It's the power. So they could be anywhere in the world. Yeah. Now, does he play, uh, our friend from Little Rock? Does he yeah, play? Yeah, he does. All of those ones that were on jam play are all players. It's good. And then there's a nice, cool place to perform, like um, a, a website called Stage It. Stageit.com. I'm, I'm doing a concert on there every two weeks, live, all my original tunes. And, and do you get feedback from people after you yeah, play? Yeah, they're all on typing, saying hello. It's At all the same interactive. Time. Wow. That's they a, see, see me. They talk cool. to me, yeah. And they tip me and stuff. It's really fun. Really? Yeah. Hey, that's pretty cool. We get all those addresses. we got to check them out. <laughs>
Yeah. Hey, before I forget, I got to sit. They're on your thingy. Okay, well I'll read them later. But I mean, when you read things like that, yeah, I know. you know, they're. I know they have all those letters after. Right. I mean, it just. It, 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 so the best thing to do is probably just go. To, do you have a website or face uh, page, sure. uh, Facebook? Uh, LaurenPassarelli.com. There you go. Yeah. P a s s a r e l l i. Yes. And then. And that'll take you right to wherever, right? I mean, it'll take you to the rest of these places. Oh sure, there's different things to talk about all those places. Absolutely. What's your favorite Beatles tune? Uh, probably. You know, like, uh, she loves you, yeah. You know, those first ones yeah. always stick in my mind. You know what's so funny about that one? Go ahead. Uh, well, they ended on a big, what they call a major 6-9 chord. <coughs> and so it was like, she loves you, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And George Martin said to them, look, lads, um, that's really corny. That was a sound from the 40s, you know. And George said, we don't care, we like it. <laughs> so they left it in and <laughs> everybody liked it again. So those kinds of cliche things made it to yet another generation. And a love like that, and then the music changes, right? Yeah. And you know you should be. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And Susan, were you a big um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beatles fan? Oh, yeah, everybody loved the Beatles. Yeah. Ah, you know, there yeah, must be they, somebody. There did. are people that don't like ice cream, and you know, so the, you know, there was always somebody that was like, oh, I don't like the Beatles. Oh, well, I don't think you grew up in America and didn't love the Beatles, if, especially if you saw them come to this country. Mm. It was one thing to be around when they first came and to see that night on the Ed Sullivan Show. I know. And then you learn to love them and follow them more than somebody who was born ten years later. Speaking of Ed Sullivan, he's still cool. Yeah, he Ed is. Sullivan. I think if kids could, you know, watch him on old videos, no, they would think he was pretty, you know, sporty, mm -hmm. kind of entertaining. Well, he knew a lot of, you know, he knew a lot of, a lot of people were watching him. Yeah. yeah. He had, you know, he was a powerful kind of guy. And he did it all he pretty much at live. He wasn't reading off a cardboard or anything. He, mm -hmm. he knew his stuff. Yeah. And he was a very smart businessman, too. He happened very, to be landing in London when the Beatles were returning. And the Beatles thought the Queen was there or something. They didn't know what the heck the reception was for, but he said, what is happening? And they said, the Beatles are landing. And he said, book them on the show. Yeah, well, <laughs> he, he probably had a good uh, ear for talent or he, the people yeah, around him. him. He were, just liked the crowd. Oh, I he think. just yeah. figured if they were all, yeah. you know, kind of like driving by restaurants, if the parking lot's full, it's like, we better go in, <laughs> right? Because there's only one car out there. Maybe the food's not too good. Right. Valentine's Day is coming. Yes. I have a new album that's released on Valentine's Day. I know, look at all the CDs you have. See, she still calls it an album. Yeah, oh. well. <laughs> it's a CD, but that's okay. Albums are coming back, right? Right. They are coming back. Yeah. So that's called Blast, Blast of, Love. of Love. It's already here. It's already, it's there. soon going to be on iTunes and all those places, and all the rest of them are on there. <laughs> Leaps and Twirls. That's a good one. <laughs> Can you play it? Would you like me to? Uh, yeah. Either. Sure. You want to hear a song off there? Well, like Blast of Love must be your, the, the, the hit off, right? It right? is, actually. Well, Would you like do to Blast, hear Blast of Love, of love, love. Sounds good. Let's just check the tune in. You want to hear a piece of it or the whole thing? Whatever you want. You've got the whole show tonight.
Ask her. Okay, I'm thanks. On, I'm on stageit.com every two weeks. Stageit.com. Yeah, every two oh. weeks she's on there. Like, oh, okay. you want to know if she plays around here? Okay, thank you. Do you play around here at all? I do. Or? I've played at all the clubs in Boston and Cambridge, and every once in a while I come back somewhere, oh. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but you'll put that information on your website. Yeah, that'd be great. Great place to check. And then everything else, like, you have all these other, you know, I hate to so to read them all because nobody will remember them, but there are a bunch of... Um... Well, you get tapes, so this will be on So go to your website. Everything's on there, Well, right? no, even now, if you're saying it, right, this goes to your website, so they'll hear it. Oh. And they'll remember it because they okay. can listen to it. I mean, I didn't read your bio, but really, I mean, I'm probably <laughs> not giving you as much credit. Some people don't like, I don't like to hear mine, but you really have a nice... Uh... Well, there's Google. They can there's find out There's tons of stuff on here. Yeah. So, I mean, you're, like, for real. Well, what stands out to you? That you like um, Fleetwood Mac... Stevie Wonder, James Taylor, James Taylor, Livingston Taylor. The best one is he. The, 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 He's uh, a friend of mine. The uh, well, even James Taylor took a tip from me. He asked me, "I want to know your. Uh, give me some advice on a teaching DVD I want to do for guitar lessons on my website." I said, "Show us how you do your nails." Wow. Because he, he does these nail wraps, and he did it. He put it on Nails 101 right wow. on his website. But he was at, at the local chamber, and they do this. Barbara and you, I think. Barbara interviewed him, and I was there that day, and he said, "Hey, how about?" You know, you sing a song or play a song. And, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, but he went, I think, to maybe hear a song. And he said, "Listen, my mother told me that you know, if if you know, it's your work, you you, you get paid to to sing." Now, oh ba goodness. basically, he said no, in in a nice way, <laughs> and he wanted to get paid to sing. I don't, know, but I think everybody. Wouldn't you think that everybody would come to listen to him at least sing one song? I think you could draw, yeah. Yeah, and they're just like, okay, <laughs> Livingston Taylor, I guess I'll probably sing. Yeah. You know? I mean, if you got invited somewhere, wouldn't you be prepared for somebody to say, hey, Al Lauren, can you play a song? I'd probably say, I need money first. Right, well, there you, you go. The that's Beatles, what he said. That's what the Beatles would say. Carl, welcome to the show. Hello. Hi. Hi, this is Giuseppe again. It's Giuseppe again. It is? Oh, it's you again. <laughs> yeah, man, hey, look. She just doesn't play the guitar. She does the bass. She does the mixing. Uh, she does some drums, um, piano, and um, she, she does it all. She's very passionate about it, and uh, she deserves a lot of credit for the time she puts in. They say she and it does a real good job. People on jazz play are musicians, and all of them buy her work because it's good. Wow! See, we're well, lucky so, to have we're lucky to have her here tonight. <laughs> yes, sir. You really are. So, can, and, uh, you, can you see us from Little Rock? 
I can see you. He's on the internet. Yeah. No, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm honest. This is like technology that only. We have something on the LATV website called live streaming. Live streaming. So he's clicked right, on live streaming and he's watching the show as we broadcast it. I would have my best it. behavior if I would have known that. <laughs> he would have worn a jacket. No. <laughs> yeah, I would have like put a pin on or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is, yeah, most authority on the Beatles, but she also does a lot of her own work, and it's really good. You ought to, you ought to give her a plug-in on that, Bear. All right. Jack, man, you ever need a book bring south, you give me a call here. All right, buddy. We got one. We got time for one more song. One more song. What would it be? See, you're down to the. You have to play one yeah. more song. Well, I'll, I'll play Galaxy Eyes. It's one of my favorites on there. Um, I also wanted to mention that there's this really cool. If you're interested in guitar stuff, there's a cool company right here in Hudson called uh, Celestial Effects. And they make cool little guitar pedals and stuff. Really? Yeah, they they're right. Them? They're right here in Hudson, and they make such cool things. I've got two of them. I love them. You're my favorite. You're my mine. Yeah. You're my favorite mine, and I love your self-possession. You have sun and moon rises in your galaxy eyes. There are pilots of dreams blowing warmer than the northern lights. I'm Flying through the Milky Way in your galaxy eyes, and I'm spinning at the speed of sound. I hear universal music. Singing to every cell I am, and I'm dancing through your vast dimensions, expanding worlds of surprise. Isn't that good? She's good. Yeah. So you can catch her on her website. Nice job. I gotta give her a round of applause. Thank you. Great job. See, even back then, they never clapped for anything back there. <laughs> never. Well, anyway, we're out of time. I really want to thank. We gotta get back on again, right? Oh, that would be nice. Yes. Well, Mother thank you so much. It was just Thanks great for to coming meet on. you. I, I've never met a mayor before. That's okay. I, hey, George. I mean, you know, Beatles, I never met George. Mayor is great. You know. We're out of time. Good night.